your engines! It's time for your mechanic car tips. Today I'm going to talk about smells that your car can make and what they mean. Now the first thing is exhaust smell. You should only smell exhaust coming out of the back of the car. If you smell it inside the car while you're driving, you got an exhaust leak. That's dangerous. Carbon monoxide can poison people. You need to get that fixed right away. Now the next smell is gasoline smell. You should never smell gasoline while you're driving your car. You might not believe how many times I've fixed gas smell in the car by finding out somebody forgot to put the gas cap back on. And of course, gas cap seals often go bad, so if you think the smell is coming from the back, you might just change the gas cap. But if you have a big leak and you actually see gasoline leaking on the ground, that's extremely dangerous. Of course, look around to see where it's leaking from, but if you can't see it leaking, then it's often a problem in the EVAP system that vents and filters the gas vapors coming from the gas tank. You'd want a mechanic to fix that right away. Especially if you park your car in a garage. Park in a garage, close the door, all those gas vapors build up. It's dangerous. It can easily start a fire with a tiny spark. Now the next smell is a stick sweet smell like maple syrup that's often coolant leaking somewhere. So if you smell that, check your temperature gauge. Make sure the car's not starting to overheat because when you lose coolant, it'll often overheat. And you want to fix that right away. And here's a tip. If your temperature is starting to rise while you're driving in an emergency, put it on defrost and turn the heat on full blast. Because the heater is actually a small radiator. So that'll help dissipate heat so at least you can drive someplace without making the engine get into the H and overheat. And the next smell is a sulfur smell. And that can only come from one of two places. Either the battery is being overcharged or is going bad and you're smelling sulfation coming off the battery. Or your catalytic converter is going bad on your exhaust system then you'll smell it coming out of the exhaust pipe back here. Now the next smell is burning rubber or a burning wood smell. Often it's tires that are underinflated or wearing out or brakes that are sticking on. Now, if you've driven really hard or slammed the brakes on hard, that's somewhat normal. In that case, you shut the car off and if the smell goes away, you ignore it. But if it comes back, you don't want to get the tires and the brakes checked. And if you have a standard transmission vehicle, a worn out clutch can also smell like burning rubber or burning wood. So if you're driving really fast and shifting a lot, maybe you'll smell a little of that. If it goes away after you stop and start again, it's okay. But if you smell it all the time, it's probably time for a new clutch. Another common smell is hot oil from oil that's either leaking or seeping through gaskets. Now, if you look under the car and see all kinds of large blocks of oil, you want to fix that right away. But let's say it's not dripping on the ground, but like in this case, the valve cover gasket's leaking, then it gets on the exhaust and smolders. You still want to get that fixed before it damages something else. Now the last smell to be talked about is a musty, mildewy type smell coming from the vents. Now if your vehicle has one of these cabin air filters, you take the glove box out and replace the cabin air filter, because they'll often get filled up with stuff, and then you take them out and put a new one in. Now if it's gotten really bad inside and there's a bunch of bacteria and mold really growing in, you can try spraying some Lysol in the intake ducts with a fan on full blast to try to kill it. But if that doesn't work, you can pay a mechanic who's got specialized ultrasonic cleaners and stuff to really clean the system out. Sometimes you actually even have to take it apart and physically take out leaves and debris and scrub the mold and bacteria off. So now you know what different smells in your car means and what to do about it. And if you need a mechanic, check out yourmechanic.com because you're only a click away from having them come fix your car at your home or office.